Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about something. Can you run a microwave in a vehicle using the alternator that is on your vehicle? Now, I do have a 90 amp alternator that came with my Ram van here. And we went to Walmart today and we went down clearance aisle and we found a mainstay microwave. I do absolutely hate digital microwaves, but you know. This is a 700 watt, and we actually purchased this because it was a return. Um, I don't know what kind of problem or issue they had with it. Uh, you know, it, it's brand new. In fact, the glass was still in here, the bubble wrap for the glass. Um, the only issue I found when I opened the box is the little peg that holds up the turntable was missing and it was actually in the bottom of the box so maybe they took it out uh, opened it up saw it wasn't in there but it was in the bottom of the box and once again uh, we did get this off of clearance and we bought that today now I'm going to attempt to run this off of my 1100 watt power bright inverter I already have it in here. I have a cup of water. I mean, ice cold. You know, no steam, no nothing. Um, so, I'm going to shut the door because what I'm going to do is to keep the battery from going completely dead, I'm going to have to rip my vehicle up. Let's stick this in here. I already have it plugged in. I already have my inverter on. As you can tell. Now I'm going to rip my vehicle up before I turn this on. Because if I don't, the battery will dramatically drop. In fact, it will drop up here while it's running. Let's put it on two minutes. And you can see the battery drop dramatically. Now I'm going to rev it up. The reason I'm revving this up is I want the alternator to kick out enough power to run this without drawing the battery down. It is on 12.56 volts, 860. 870 watts so it's around 900 watts to run the 700 watt microwave and once again you can see the needle on my battery has dropped dramatically but it will jump right back up once this goes off and I'm going to keep recording this until it goes off let's put that back on volts so if you will have to put a 700 watt microwave in your vehicle, uh, this Powerbright 1100 watt and power inverter I have is running this with no problems. Once again, I am revving my motor because I do not want it to drop my uh, starter battery down. Now I don't know if you'll actually have to rev this up to be on the safe side rev it up some. You want to make sure that alternator is kicking out full power. Because you don't want your battery to go down too much. As you can see, my microwave just went off, and my battery jumped right back up to where it was. But I'm going to leave my vehicle running at an idle for a few minutes. <coughs> that is definitely hot. Okay, I am not going to put my finger in there because, well, it's hot. 
but once again my battery as soon as the microwave <clears throat> shut down it did jump back up um, I will end up wiring some wiring up I'm going to make a platform for my inverter ply out of plywood to raise it up get some of the wires out of the way and run a, either a heavy duty extension cord or I do have enough um, 12 2 wire and I have some 10 2 that I can actually run some plugs to the back some regular electrical outlets to run it to the front to plug the microwave in back there somewhere um, I hope the sound isn't too bad uh, you know my thumbs right here next to the speaker on this now it's pulling zero and it shows the battery 14.2 all right let's go ahead and shut this down and I always make sure if you hook up an inverter like this you put a switch on it to where you can shut it off now what I would normally do is if I was driving once my vehicle started I would go ahead and turn the switch on um, if I need to use it for something but other than that I would leave it 100% completely off uh, that way the battery itself on the vehicle charges all right let's kick that off uh, once again there's still steam coming from this um, if I can get that that was on two minutes on this 700 watt microwave that we paid 30 bucks for um, now what I want to do I've just been letting my vehicle idle since this one off <clears throat> I'm going to turn my van off now remember please remember this I do have a weak battery on this vehicle if this vehicle sits for more than a few days I actually have to jump the battery with my battery pack so you know if you have a really good battery or you have a battery bank somewhere installed in your vehicle well what I may do is I may get a deep cycle battery just stick it in the back and you know charge it up <clears throat> from up here or I could put a battery up here in the front somewhere to run everything and then just charge it from the vehicle all right let's see what it does there you go now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this run about five minutes and let it charge back up completely once again if you're using a microwave in your vehicle don't just let it idle while you're using it off your starter battery because that's what I'm doing I am looking for a dual cycle marine type battery that will fit my vehicle instead of a starter battery I want a dual cycle and that way it won't draw the power down as quickly <coughs> but look at that it's still steaming and once again this is a little mainstay um, in fact what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let this idle make sure I have all my doors are unlocked and I'm going to show it to you once again mainstay Walmart uh, 0.7 cubic foot microwave 10 power levels 6 pre-programmable cooking levels uh, clock child lock feature which I don't give a damn about that I don't have any kids 30 section uh, second one touch option and 700 watts let me get a picture of this if I can There you go. I hope you can see everything. And this was like $49 or something like that. Uh, brand new, uh, something like that. Uh, $50. Um, according to this, we saved $19.95. So that'd be figure another $20. Uh, figure $50 bucks for this microwave new. Once again, we did find this on the clearance aisle. Um, this was a return 
and it, it still looks brand new the only thing like I said the only problem or issue I found was the piece that goes inside under the turntable was not there it was actually in the box up underneath the microwave and it had you know really one piece of plastic covering part of it um, that's it um, it has one bracket thing um, you know for whatever I guess it goes into a corner and the glass was in this so you know 30 bucks for a microwave I can use in my van for cooking heating stuff making uh, heating coffee uh, making tea um, yeah I know my van's a mess uh, I haven't really done anything I haven't had the money to do anything with this um, got a lot of stuff just stored in here got this big pan over here that we bought for uh, cooking on a campfire um, you know got a portable uh, shower toilet thing that folds out uh, got a weed eater I have to put the string on because you know it takes money for all that in fact I will end up taking this microwave in the house and replacing the one we have in the house because even though it's a, a thousand watt microwave the microwave still works but under the bottom of the plate the paint is all chipped off and the metal starting to expose so but I wanted to see if this microwave would actually work out here because if it can think about the cost okay um, let me shut the door think about the cost of putting a microwave in your vehicle even brand new 50 bucks there's some dust on the top um, which is no big deal fifty dollars for a microwave a hundred dollars for the power inverter um, I, the on and off switch here I bought was I believe eight dollars eight ten bucks something like that so that's hundred sixty dollars plus the terminal ends and the wires that I bought and made myself and I did put a ground on it a small ground as you can tell and I did just put some silicone here and here um, to fill in the holes so on my power bright 1100 watt power inverter and the reason I'm doing this is well a couple reasons one I want to microwave in my vehicle when we travel two I have watched so many videos on YouTube where they're talking about I can't run my microwave if you have a thousand watt microwave and a thousand watt inverter you're never going to run it most microwaves take pretty much double the power to start okay so if you have a 700 watt microwave it pretty much takes 1400 watts if not a little bit higher to kick that microwave so now my power brand inverter is 1100 watt continuous 2200 watt peak but it will not run our thousand watt microwave in the house because it's over double literally over double on that one to kick start it I mean it will run it just barely with the voltage drop on the wires the voltage drop on the inverter itself um, I would not recommend using a large microwave like that we thought about a 600 watt microwave it takes longer to cook in fact that water still has some steam coming off I don't know if you can see that or not it's starting to cool down some in fact I think my camera started over I hope not so yes you can run a microwave in your vehicle off your starter battery just remember if you're going to do this have distilled water with you at all times check your battery water levels at least once a week if you're going to be running the microwave off of your starter battery when you're running in the microwave if possible have it to where somebody can sit in the front seat and rev this vehicle up you do not want it to draw that battery down to a certain point you want this alternator or your alternator to kick this microwave also the size of your alternator and strength of your alternator is extremely important if you have a 50 watt microwave I don't know what it would do because your um, volts amps equals watts.
so that's 12 volt 50 amps whatever watts it is um, I have a 90 watt alternator well not watt but 90 amp alternator on my vehicle so it puts out basically 1020 watts with alternators working full speed and with full steam so anything under a 90 amp alternator even a 70 amp all right basically take 10 amps um, times it by 70 is 700 watts you're not getting much more than 700 watts on a 70 amp alternator it's like 720 watts total so make sure your alternator is strong enough to run it because that's what you want to run it off of and once again I'm running this off of my $100 it was $99.99 1100 watt power bright inverter and this is a 700 watt microwave and I don't know if you can still see some of the steam there it's still steaming I hope you can see the steam so yes it is possible to run a microwave off your starter battery but make sure you have somebody up here revving the motor if you're going to do this you do not want that starter battery to dry down completely make sure you have plenty of distilled water to check your battery with keep your cells completely full and make sure you have a strong enough alternator I have a 90 amp alternator if you have a 45 amp alternator do not try this it will dramatically pull your starter battery dead so can you run a microwave on a starter vehicle battery yes but there are certain factions that you have to consider one the size of your inverter two the power of the microwave three the size of your alternator and the size of your cables this is two gauge welders wire I have shown these in my last video this is like really heavy-duty thick stuff um, it says two 32nd millimeter two or squared welder welding cable and like I said I did make all of my connections myself um, if you want to put a larger inverter in that's fine just make sure your alternator on your vehicle can carry that once again you know I'm not gonna put a bunch of stuff in my vehicle eventually we will either get a camper a trailer a motorhome something um, I thought about going ahead and just turning this into a full-time camper van with a stove microwave fridge that's a lot of money I don't have that kind of money we are trying to save money to get some things we need unfortunately you know a microwave was a necessity we had to have and I'm like you know what I want to try this in the vehicle in an emergency situation I can bring my microwave out here set it right here on this toilet that nobody's ever used I mean the toilets brand new um, and I can cook food out here you know especially if I had you know, in fact what I think I'll do is I'll put a platform right here a table right here where this toilet is and for the microwave and that way I can actually face it towards the driver's seat and I can be revving my vehicle while I'm using the microwave will it go through a lot of gas of course it will but in an emergency situation having an inverter that will run a microwave will run a heater I have already shown this inverter running um, our space heater on low which is like you know the heater I believe is like 1200 watts or something like that but I, I believe it was kicking out 900 to 1,000 watts. But it did work. So, can this work for you? Of course. Anyway, that's it. I got to put all this stuff, take all this stuff in the house. Um, it did not draw my battery down too bad once again once the microwave went off my battery jumped back up and started charging immediately and like I said my battery is bad to begin with 
So the alternator is basically kicking out the power to my inverter. Anyway, um, I hope this gives you a little idea of what you can and can't do. You do not have to have a three to five thousand watt power inverter to run a microwave in your vehicle. This is an eleven hundred watt, hundred dollar power inverter from AutoZone.com. I do not get sponsored from them. I do not not get paid from them. I spent my own money on this, but. This is one of the best inverters I've found so far, unless you want to kick out three, four hundred dollars. This is a modified sine wave inverter. It had no problem kicking this mainstay microwave. All right, that's it. Um, I'm out of here. Uh, maybe this will give you an idea of something you want to do in the future. If so, good luck with your project, and everyone have a good day.